stove. Hey, babies. I know you guys went in because of the rain. <laughs> Hello, babies. All right. Shemath. 21. It's coming. Yes. And these are the right rulings which you are to put before them. When you buy an Ebri servant, he serves six years, and in the seventh he goes out free for naught. If he comes in by himself, he goes out by himself. If he comes in married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master has given him a wife, and she has bore him sons or daughters, the wife and her children are her masters, and he goes out by himself. And if the servant says, truly says, I love my master, my wife, and my children, let me not go out free, then his master shall bring him before the Creator, and shall bring him to the door, po uh, to the door or to the doorpost, and his master shall pierce his ear with an awe, and he shall serve him forever. And when he sells his, and when a man sells his daughter to be a female servant, she does not go out as the male servants do. If she is displeasing in the eyes of her master who has engaged himself to her, then she, then he shall let her be ransom. He shall have no authority to sell her to a foreign people because of him deceiving her. Mm. Huh. If he takes another, her food, her covering, and her marriage rights are not to be diminished. And if he does not do these three for her, then she shall go out for naught without silver. He who strikes a man so that he dies shall certainly be put to death. But he, but if he did not lie and wait, but the Creator delivered him into his hand, then I shall appoint for you a place where he is to flee. But when a man acts presumptuously against his neighbor to kill him by treachery, you are to take him even from my altar to die. And he who smites his father or his mother shall, shall certainly be put to death. And he who kidnaps a man and sells him, or if he is found in his hand, shall certainly be put to death. And he who curses his father or his mother shall certainly be put to death. And when men strive together, one smites another with a stone or with his fist, and he does not die but is confined to his bed, if he rises again and walks about outside with his staff, then he who smote him shall be innocent. He only pays for lost time, and sees to it that he is completely healed. And when a man smites his male or female servant with a rod, so that he does, so that he dies under his hands, he shall certainly be avenged. But if he remains alive a day or two, and he is he is not avenged, for he is his property. When men strive, and they shall smite a pregnant woman, and her child come out. Yet there is no injury. He shall certainly be punished according as the woman's husband lays upon him. And he shall pay by the judges. But if there is injury, then you shall give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, and foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, and lash for lash. And when a man smites the eye of his female or male servant 
and destroys it, he is to let him go free for the sake of his eye. And if he knocks out the tooth of his male or female servant, he is to let him go free for the sake of his tooth. And when an ox gores a man or woman to death, then that ox shall certainly be stoned and its flesh is not eaten and the owner of the ox is innocent. However, if the ox was previously in the habit of goring and its owner has been worn and he has not kept it confined so that it has killed a man or a woman, the ox is stoned and its owner is also put to death. If a sin covering is laid upon him, then he shall give the ransom of his life, whatever is laid on him. Whether it has gorn a son or gored a daughter, according to this right ruling, it is done to him. If the ox gores a male or female servant, he is to give to their master 30 shekels of silver, and the ox is stone. And when a man opens the pit, or if a man digs a pit, and does not cover it, and an ox or a donkey falls in it, the owner of the pit is to repay. He is to give silver to their owner, and the dead is his. And when the ox, and when the ox of a man smites the ox of, an, of his neighbor, and it dies, then he shall sell the live ox and divide the silver from it, and also divide the dead ox. Or if it was known that the ox was previously in the habit of goring, and its owner has not kept it confined, he shall certainly repay ox for ox, while the dead is his. Hallelujah, Abba. Thank you for your shemot, your right rulings. That we have access to the writings that we might learn. Our Abba, who is in the Shamayim, Yit Kadosh is your name. Your reign come. Your will and desire be done in the Eretz as it is in the Shamayim. Tawada Abba for our daily portion. And we ask that you continue to give it and believe that we will receive. Forgive us our sin, debt, unrighteousness, disbelief. As we forgive those who are sinned, indebted, unrighteous and disbelieving in or on or to us. And lead us not into the hands of Mesa, but deliver us from our adversaries. For yours is the reign and the power and the esteem eternal. Baruch atah heya alef lamed Malek Ha'olim. In the na- in your name, Heya. Through Yashana, Hosiana, our Savior, your deliverance, I pray. Hallelujah. So be it. Shalom, shalom.